In this video, we demonstrate how your smartphone can be attacked by simply scanning for Wi-Fi hotspot in a public space. This is a new attack that we have identified in our research. Okay, so here we have set up three smartphones. Okay, so one serving as attacker. Okay, so this one is going to pretend to be a Wi-Fi and access point. Okay, and uh, it used the Wi-Fi access point and to inject code to the victims. And then here we have this uh, native app, which is written in Java. And this one is immune to our attack. So you're going to see that the access point that we injected and get displayed, but no code, no malicious code get executed. Okay. And here, this is the phone gap app. Okay. This is the victim. And this one has vulnerability. And so once we finish injecting our code, and you're going to see that code is going to be executed from here. What we are going to do in that malicious code is we're trying to get the location of this smartphone. Okay, so now let's start the access point. We're going to click here. Okay, now this one is going to send the access point. Okay, now you can see it's see an engine here. Okay, and this engine and uh, it's, it looks like weird, but because this is a code that we injected, it's not a normal. Uh, name of the access point. So, and here you're going to see the empty entrance because we didn't put any real name in here. We just put some code, and that code was not actually displayed. It ex it was actually executed. Okay, so nothing comes out from here. Okay, and now you can see this name keep changing. Okay, because we only have a 32 bytes to inject code, so we have to use five different access points and to inject the entire code. Okay. So and this one is just going to keep displaying this and then something's going to happen here. You can see after we finish injecting an all p five pieces of code and that code will be executed successfully and you can see that the location was obtained by the malicious code. 